My name is Alita White, and I'm here to tell you my flight care story. Two days before my 23rd birthday, I was uh, driving a delivery truck uh, from Quincy down into the Feather River Canyon. And it was a beautiful fall day. There was a car in my lane, and I overcorrected getting back on track and drove over a 300 foot cliff. I've always felt that this place is my special spot. I feel like I had hundreds of guardian angels with me that day, starting with a search and rescue vehicle that just happened to be driving by and noticed my skid marks. Um, did some investigating, couldn't see the wreck from this angle because it's so far up. Had to drive down um, to get a, a better view. The hospital was contacted, paramedics 911. They knew it was a really tough spot for a rescue, so they also called Enlo Flight Care. Enlo Flight Care uh, performed a hot load, which is raising me to the helicopter because there was no place to land. Enlo Flight Care transported me to Enlo Medical Center, um, where it was discovered I had uh, broken. C1, um, my femur, I had a TBI, which is a head injury, traumatic brain injury, um, and several other miscellaneous broken bones. Um, pretty serious condition. They contacted my mother, who's out of state, and told her to get to the hospital ASAP. As you can see from my surroundings, um, the helicopter and the flight care was the key to my rescue. There's no way they could have um, scaled me back up the cliff, repelled me back up the cliff. Um, it was absolutely, absolutely necessary to have endless flight care. When I returned to Quincy seven months after my accident, I was uh, presented with uh, something that was found in the rubble. Um, down near the river, and uh, it was a wooden Christmas ornament, and a um, little grizzly bear with the Santa riding on its back, and it's the first uh, ornament we hang each year on our Christmas tree, and it's very special, and, uh, and like I said, none of it could have even started without endless light care.